Okay, so it took me long enough, nearly two years, but you know who's counting? And finally, I am back after a year and a half or whatever with season two. Am I excited? No, it like there's a reason it took me this long. I don't like the show, okay? Not sure it's hypocritical to be all like, I don't like the show and then watch it, but I must said I'd review it and you know what this season was an improvement. But like come on and babe maybe I'll go up to season four of this. I don't know, that's the eightieth anniversary season. But fuck a potential season five. I don't even know what I'm rambling about. Let, let, let's just begin, okay? The episodes. Once again, there were 52. For fuck's sake, why do you make watching these so hard? Why couldn't there just be like a short amount of episodes? Why did you make it 52? That's why it took me two years. The last season definitely suffered having Thomas be the main out of 48 of those 52 episodes. With Nia having three main roles and Diesel having one. Luckily this season, everyone in the main cast gets one or two roles, including the new guy, Bruno. So, you know, that's good. But sadly, no adults have an episode yet. Come on, just give me a James and Gordon-centric episode. That's all I ask for. All right, please. Also, last season, there was only one episode where I was more positive about it than negative, and that was the super long shortcut. Thankfully, this time, you know, it's more of an improvement. We have a bit more to work with. This time around, there's more episodes this time that I like. Uh, Carly's Ma- Magnificent Magnet, A Cranky Goodbye, and one or two more that I, I just don't remember the titles. I'm sorry, how am I meant to remember what happens in the episode called Off the Rails? Alright, they leave the track every episode. Sometimes they can jump it, sometimes they can't go around. I don't get the logic behind this world. I'm sorry. But for every good episode, there's one called Stink Monsters. My favourite was probably A Cranky Goodbye, with having a focus on Cranky and Bolstrode. As they have a falling out. Oh no, it's it, it's good until the song. The songs, they suck. Alright, they are forced into every single episode except one which I will get into. But I like they, they, they come out of nowhere. I think a good example of this was an episode, I can't remember its name, where Kana really wanted to just be left alone and have quiet. And in the episode where she finally gets quiet, peace and quiet, she breaks into a song. Okay, that's not quiet, that's singing. Shut up, listen to the rain, you stupid hypocrite! I think the one song that um, was decent-ish was the one Saucy sang, and I will have a memory from a year ago improv sing-along of this at the end of the video, if I remember. So that will be funny. Um, I guess with that, we're going to move on to characters. Uh, please note, in the new characters and returning characters here, I will not bring up Bruno, Whiff, or Darcy, because they are all in Mystery at Lookout Mountain, and that was the previous part, so, um, yeah, let's get on with them. Firstly, brand new characters. Tess, her voice does not match her design, she looks more like she'd have a gruff voice. Along with that, they seem to change her personality to an extent. I mean, one episode, she's nothing but rude, and everyone hates her, the next is somewhat friends, the next, she's giving us, I, I don't, I, I don't care, really. Troublesome tankers. Sure, there were tankers in the old series, but I'm counting these two as different, like how I count the trucks as different. Yeah, I mean, they exist, that's all. Okay, now on for returning characters. Toby, finally having all the mains from the original series, except Rebecca. His episode is decent, it's a very predictable story, and no Henrietta, why? Oshima. Her name pronunciation is different, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it how I'm used to, because I won't be able to remember every time. I'm sorry, cry about it. She had some kind of forgettable episodes. Salty. He's probably my favourite. He sings the only decent song. As I said, we'll have to sing along at the end, I promise. Yeah, he's probably my favourite newbie. Well, not newbie, but returning. Terence, first road character, let's go, but why him? I would have predicted Bertie. I mean, he's decent, it's a nice episode, it wasn't anything special. And um, But the one with him and Skiff, you know, that was that was alright. Beresford, nope, I hate him. Why does he move like that? Why does he go wherever the heck he wants? I'd be terrified to live here. And that's about it for all the video. Part 7 of the series, if it happens, will be on the Great Bubbly Build. Sounds amazing. I'm hoping to get through it and season three before Christmas Letter Express and season four come out if I do do them. But yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. And now for the sing along.
Greetings, I'm Toad the Break Van, and if I'm being honest, we will not be in tune or anything. Let's begin. <clears throat> Find a treasure fit for a queen. Look out from a mountain you have seen. If you look real hard and your eyes are keen to find a tower. So hey ho! As the wind does blow, the song has secrets you should know. Hey ho! Around the island go, a treasure waits below. Once inside that tower of stone, stand in a place where the sun has shone. On the wall, just above the throne, a secret you will find. Hey ho! As the wind does blow, the song has secrets you should know. Hey ho! Round the island, go, Dan, just shut the fuck up. Hold on, me! No, 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 guys, you and the one that totally seen me. Hell, he's dead! Pirates! Only idiot Tommy can suck it. Ah! 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 Ah